today is the first part of an open-ended mission to complete all of the crossings of the River Thames. Lots of famous attractions you can see around here. And I'm the only person on the platform. Is it just me or is the water flowing west today? The Thames is supposed to flow towards the east, towards the sea. At the moment it's flowing back towards the mountains. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of, of Mission Thames, this being episode 6, our long-term project to complete all the crossings of the River Thames, heading from east to west. So we're here at Fulham Broadway Station where we finished last time, uh, we came off on a 295 bus uh, here last time, and today we're going to be heading west, west, I'm not going to tell you how far west, but we'll be um, heading quite west today, quite west. <laughs> Uh, our first crossing of the River Thames, I haven't even touched out here because um, it is in fact the district line which I came off of. Um, and we'll be taking this one stop across, no, we'll, no we won't be taking it two stops across to East Putney which takes off our next crossing of the River Thames which is uh, the Putney Railway Bridge. For those of you that don't know the rules of Mission Thames, all the crossings must be completed in order of east to west uh, and no crossings, other crossings must be used to do each crossing. If that makes sense, is that our train? No, that's an Edgeware Road train, I think. Fulham Broadway, closest station to Chelsea Football Club, obviously. Uh, our train is coming in now, bound for Wimbledon. No, so we don't get summoned to the National History, Mu National History, Natural History Museum again. There must be a National History Museum somewhere. Bottom Putney Bridge Station, a couple of stops on. As mentioned, we are now crossing the Fulham Railway Bridge, uh, opened in 1889 by the London South Western Railway, and also by the District Line. As here we go. It's one of the iron girder bridges, so it's quite difficult to actually look outside. But if you look there, did you know that you can actually cross this bridge by foot from north to south? So you don't actually have to get a train across this bridge. Flower bed there. You don't see that at too many um, tube stations anymore. And we're now south of the river. Brownie points are guessing what these tube lines connect to. These tube lines are a little known link which actually connect the southwestern main line between Wands of Town and Putney to the district line. Now, if you've been very, very, very lucky, you may have seen or ridden on a Southwestern Railway service on the spot of the district line, because occasionally Southwestern Railway do uh, run empty stocks, and I believe during engineering work in some very early morning and late evening services down this part of the line. So it is possible to get a Southwestern Railway service on the district line. Exciting, we're only one cross to go now. I've already overloaded you with facts. Oh, in fact, look. <laughs> oh my word, what are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? Oh my word, I thought I heard something. On the very rare occasion at South Western Railway service, one turns up. SW on the district line. So if it goes, I didn't... 455716, I did not expect to be seeing this today. Well, okay. Excuse that intermission. Let's continue our crossings of the River Thames. That that was a bit that was a bit amazing, wasn't it? Oh, perfect. Ninety-three, two, Putney Bridge. Bridge. One of the nicer crosses of the back seating. As we're now crossing Putney Bridge, I should have some better music across the Thames this time. Two minutes to Putney Bridge Station, that's nice. I have a very cool picture of Putney Bridge in the fog, um, 
which I took from the top of the bus, which I think you'll like. I'll put that on the screen for you now. What a cool picture. Short but pleasant ride aboard the 93 on one of their brand new buses. Here comes our next mode of transport. This this bus, which will not be taken to Tolworth, but just a few stops down the line. And the line down the road, I guess. Not near to Tolworth, that's a long way for a single decker bus to go. Area this doesn't feel like London at all. It's like we're out in the countryside. Just approaching Barnes Station where we're changing to our next bus. It's just so green, it's on them like you wouldn't think this is London at all, would you? Okay, welcome to Barnes. You're only gonna get a very brief look at the station itself. Because uh, RATP thing RATP. Um, they, the next bus has a horrific service frequency, so it's something like 1 minute and then 21 minutes, 21 minutes, 23 minutes. That's not how you run a bus service if I remember correctly. So we need to get to that bus stop there before our 33 arrives, as a 455 arrives in two barns heading towards London Waterloo. It's busy this morning. It's just so green around here. I don't know whether I like it or not. Here comes our next bus, our 33, which will be taking us to Castle now. I think that's how you pronounce it. Our next bus in the River Thames from Carlson. Now you might have to guess which one it is. Okay, and welcome to Carlson now as we got off our 33 bus. You may notice huge roads around here, huge roads, but almost no traffic. I'll give you a clue as to why that is. We are about to cross over our next crossing of the River Thames, which takes us from Carlton on to Hammersmith. However, it is not accessible by road traffic, as I'll, I'll explain when we get slightly closer. So as we're coming up to Hammersmith Bridge, you see this huge road blockade uh, coming up, and almost no cars coming across this really important bridge uh, linking um, Carlton now and the London of Richmond over to Hammersmith. And the reason for that is uh, in 2020, this is Hammersmith Bridge here, um, concerns are raised about, serious concerns are raised about its structural integrity. So no cars were allowed to cross and no boats were allowed to be guided underneath. Um, they have um, sort of sorted that out and the bridge is now open for pedestrians but it still remains close to road traffic. Hopefully it doesn't fall down while we walk on it, that would be nice. It's a very grand structure though. If you like West Ham, it's definitely getting narrower. There's a more village feel. You can sort of see why concerns are raised about the from integrity, because you can see that the frame of the bridge is made of wood, isn't it? And welcome to the other side of Hammersmith Bridge. We are waiting here for the 533, which, correct me if I'm wrong, is the last numbered numerical route, like the highest numbered uh, numerical route in London, which sees an all day service. So, this is the last route numerically uh, on London's network, which is now arriving, taking us to Barnes Bridge Railway Station. We were at Barnes Railway Station earlier, the Barnes uh, Bridge. See that bus stop over there? It's for coaches to pass from here. You may think 533 Carlson now. How's it going to get to Carlson now when Hammersmith Bridge is shut? 
Well, that's the whole reason for this bus route's existence. This bus route exists to provide links um, between the north of the river and uh, south of the river, um, avoiding Hammersmith Bridge. It seems to be a bit of a pointless route, to be honest, um, when you can simply um, walk across um, Hammersmith Bridge just like that. For people with mobility issues, it might not be so easy. This route basically runs as an express route uh, down to Kew and then crosses the bridge down towards Barnes, which is quite exciting. So we can run along the A4 here. It basically runs like that. My mistake. We're not going to Barnes Bridge, we're going to Chiswick. And our train is in five minutes. Can we make it? We're quite a way away from the station. Okay. Okay, we just got to Chiswick. I ran here as fast as I could. Only to find that our train taking us across the river is delayed. It's currently sat at Isleworth and it has been for about 10 minutes. I'm not too sure why. I'm just checking SWR's Twitter to see if they've got any updates. First one that comes in our train, the 1028 service from Weybridge to London Waterloo now delayed by approximately 41 minutes. Four fifty zero one six at the river, which will be our unit, which will be taking just one stop down the line. Check of our next crossing of the River Thames, which I think is called the Barnes Railway Bridge. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I've been in one of these four fifties. having a laugh, I was just reading the Wikipedia article for the um, railway bridge. This bridge can also be crossed by foot. I could have just walked across the bridge. This train, after stopping at Barnes Bridge and then Barnes, runs direct to London Waterloo. I'm not from the area, so I don't actually know how, how many trains do this, because I don't remember this being in the timetable. Is this a new thing? Anyway, here's the bridge itself. Oh, it's a 21 hours of TSR, that's why. And you can totally cross this bridge by foot on the left hand side, as you can see. We're able to get the whole Thames in one shot now. It's a 209, it's just down there. We're going to get our next up of Barnes Bridge very shortly. Off goes our train. 450.016. Next stop, Barnes, and then fast to London Waterloo. Fly through three again. Thames Bank, the bus stop is called as we are crossing the River Thames and yet another crossing. This is Chiswick Bridge we are crossing now. Quite a few trees in the way. We are going really far west today, aren't we? Anyway, lots of last minute planning later um, to find out what, how exactly we're going to get around our disruption and try and make up some time. Uh, what we're going to do from here is get the E3 bus uh, a few stops up and then walk to Gunnersbury Station. And so our E3 bus at Greenford Broadway, but we are going as far as Chiswick Town Hall. Looks completely empty. Lovely up here. The greenery might be pretty, but the tran uh, public transport around here certainly isn't. And as we only get out of London, it can only get worse, so you're going to see more fun of me running around. Okay, as we leave our E3 behind, have you ever wondered? Have you gone through Turnham Green and wondered where Turnham Green actually is? Well, this ahead of us, this green space here, is Turnham Green. 
That's an interesting fact for you. Anyway, we are going to head to Gonsby Stage, which I believe is just around the corner here, uh, to complete our next crossing of the river, which is the Q Railway Bridge, which takes the District Line and London Overground Lines over from Gunnersbury to Kew Gardens, which uh, is where we're going to go up to today. There's a train station. There's a train station, Gunnersbury Station. Very well hidden. <laughs> this is a good one. Richmond. 1,320 minutes. We're going to be waiting a while then, I think. Okay, crawling over Gunnersbury Junction, slightly less than 1,320 minutes later, is going to be our London Overground service to Richmond, which will be taking as far as Kew Gardens. It's operated by 378221 today. Big gap. So you must not forget the reason that we're going to Kew Gardens. We're crossing over the Kew Railway Bridge. Um, one of the, our next crossing of the River Thames. Opened in 1869. Was on the South Western Railway. Oh, talking of South Western Railway, they go, there goes. Um, uh, what line is that? That would be the Brentford Loop, wouldn't it? We just went over the line we were on earlier that caused us so much of a headache. This is Q Railway Bridge itself. Looking east. Correction, looking west. Looking east is that direction. Do you remember how long the Thames took us to get across when we were like at Gravesend? And that was just a, less than 10 seconds to get across as a district line crosses us. Of course, the district line also runs along this section of track. Kew Gardens, I like the Kew Gardens by plants that are growing here in the station, like palm trees and all that. We're not going to Kew Gardens today. Kew Gardens is a lovely place, admission is very expensive, um, but it is a lovely place. Um, we have a bus to catch from here which will be taking us back across the river, across Kew Bridge. We've got Kew Railway Bridge and we've also got Kew Bridge, Kew Road Bridge. The latter of which we'll be taking today as 378221 prepares for its final uh, leg just down to Richmond. Just saw a cross on himself, £3.80. Talk about cost of living and inflation. But I think that's a new record. Towards Richmond, we're going towards Hammersmith, so we're up this way. That's what I think now is going to be our 110 bus, which is going to take us just across the bridge, Key Bridge, um, our next crossing. I think we'll probably take this one all the way to Garnish Bridge Station, so it does go there again. Operated, of course, by the French RATP. It's amazing we haven't actually let us down today. Just going to squash the tissue in the emergency door flap button. Let's get rid of that. famous Chiswick roundabout, the datum point of the A406 North Circular and the A205 South Circular. It's the only point in London where the North Circular and South Circular meet. It's a fun fact for you. So before, interesting door alarms on this bus. I haven't heard that on an Etiologium MC before. Okay, and welcome to Richmond. I must confess that Richmond is a station that I've never got out at, despite it being such a big station, such a big borough. We are in the um, London Borough of Richmond upon Thames now, surely. 378206 is our train down. We're going to stop for lunch here before continuing on. South Western Railway services here are considerably more frequent than they were at um, Chiswick this morning. Hopefully, you find a crust on that's slightly less than £3.80. We've got to try this Amazon Fresh thing. Right, come on in, scan, st scan the QR code. Okay, let's recognise the QR code. Present your store code at the gate, it's redirected me to try and... What should we buy? 
I'm surprised stuff here actually isn't more expensive than um, other, other supermarkets. You'd think it is because of the service, but no. And the croissants are cheaper than three pounds eighty. Yeah, here we go. We're going to exit the shop without paying. There we go. I've not scanned this at all, but it should have been charged to my Amazon account. Uh, how does it work? Is it facial recognition? Is it recognising an object's been taken off the shelf? I don't know, I'm sure it works. <laughs> Here was the delightful Richmond Green. Uh, as we um, go to our next possible of the River Thames, we're definitely a far cry from um, the busy streets of Putney as we were this morning. <laughs> Okay, which um, bridge is furthest downstream? Is it this one or this one? Actually, I think there's one slightly behind, so we might be able to tick off. Except this one here is a railway bridge, which is really annoying because it means we can't just cross it by foot. I think. This is the Richmond Lock and Footbridge here, which is exactly as it says it's a footbridge over a lock. How, how the hell do you get up there? Fenced off this side. Definitely get up the other side. I can see a set of stairs that go up there. Which it is not. How are we going to do this crossing then? Ah, it's open up on the other side. Thank God. Right, crossing number whatever it is. With the Richmond Lock and the Richmond Footbridge over the Richmond Lock. Reminds me a bit of some of the other bridges that crossed in London. It's a similar sort of architectural style. You're being really pedantic. There are actually two bridges. <laughs> they are part of the same structure. They are connected together, so we we'll count it as one. But we won't be able to get across there anyway because it's not open to the public. It's only this one seems to be here. You seem to be able to cross. That's a 455 goes over. The confusingly named Twickenham Rail Bridge. Our next crossing of the river, however, is not going to be that. It's going to be the road bridge, as you can see just ahead. That is the uh, Twickenham Road Bridge, I think is what it's called. I just walked through it without realising. This is the Twickenham Road Bridge that we are now crossing. This is. Um, not actually in Twickenham, it's in Richmond, um, but it's called the Twickenham Road Bridge because Twickenham Road uh, runs directly over it. There's an A380 comes into land at Heathrow. Is this the first double lane road crossing that we've had since the Dartford Crossing? I think it could be. Brilliant views both out west and east. As a 455 goes over the bridge. Right, I'm lost. We have now crossed the river. We are back to the, oh my word, are we west or east? I think we're east of the river, so we're south of the river. And the final cross of the river is going to be this one, the Twickenham Rail Bridge, which carries the southwestern, oh, this is called by trees, the southwestern uh, route between Richmond and Felton. Um, we're going to be crossing over it in a minute, we're just going um, back to Richmond Station now to catch a train across it. Uh, and this will be the final crossing of the day. Got something in my shoe. 13.52, Windsor and Eton, that'll do. I really like how the station is designed. All the London bound platforms are very close to the station concourse so that if you're in a rush in the morning it's easy to board the train. I think that was heading towards Windsor slightly further up. Here comes our train. I've been on two South Western Railway services today and they've both been delayed. This one not nearly as much as the previous one. This is 458518. Our final crossing today. The carriages of strange door alarms. That was a big jolt, what was that? Oh dear, that, tra that tractor race doesn't sound very healthy at all, wow. 
That might be why this train was delayed at six, what, six minutes at Clapham Junction, or just outside Clapham Junction. Yeah, this train goes direct to Twickenham, but we should still be able to cross the river for our final crossing of today. There is Twickenham Road, which we crossed just a minute ago. It's just so annoying, it's so close, but we have to go all the way around. Here is the crossing of the river. And there we go, we have now crossed the river for the final time today. Thank you all very, very much for watching this video. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. We've made massive, massive ground today um, for part five. Um, episode seven will see us heading even further west than this. We are going out of London. We're going towards the source, remember. Um, so episode seven will see us head hopefully to the border with Buckinghamshire, Berkshire, Surrey, whatever, whatever county it is. Um, I think it's Surrey, but correct me if I'm wrong on that, um, where the river flows through. Um, but yes, as you pass at Margaret's, I will see you next time. Bye everyone.